Have you ever been worried about these? A perfect credit score is mandatory, or you need a 20% down payment on your home. What if I tell you there's a way to own a home with less than perfect credit or minimal money down? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of our future guides and tips. What's up guys, my name is Tommy and I'm a top real estate agent here in Chicago, and here's how you can buy a house with very little money down with a credit score as low as 500. It's called an FHA loan. In this video, we're going over all the details you need to know about FHA loans, the 2024 FHA loan requirements, and some surprising benefits that you may not have known about. Let's jump in. An FHA loan is a government-backed mortgage that was designed to make home ownership more accessible to buyers. How? Well, there's two main reasons. One, it allows you to put a lower down payment so you don't have to worry about saving 20 or 25 percent of the purchase price that you want to spend on your next property and two it's more forgiving on your credit score so if you have less than perfect credit this is a great option for you also it's a really popular option amongst first-time home buyers speaking of first-time home buyers just because this is a popular choice for them doesn't mean this is only for them. In fact, that's one of the biggest misconceptions about FHA loans, that it's only for first-time home buyers because of that low down payment requirement. The reality is, it's for anyone that qualifies for it. There's no restrictions that limits these loans to only first-time home buyers. The second misconception is that FHA loans are only for people with lower credit scores. While it's true that FHA loans have more lenient credit score requirements, especially when you compare them to conventional loans, many borrowers with good credit scores, they still apply for FHA loans because they want to take advantage of the low down payments. The next misconception is that FHA loans can only be used to purchase single family homes and that's just not true you actually have a wide variety of options when it comes to properties that you can purchase using an fha loan for example multi-unit properties up to four units and even condominiums as long as that condo building is fha approved you can use fha loans to purchase individual condos there's another misconception about fha loans when it comes to their interest rates a lot of people think they come with lower rates especially when you compare them to conventional loans while fha loans can offer lower rates especially for those with lower credit scores they don't automatically have lower rates than conventional loans. They're determined exactly the same way any mortgage rate is determined. Finally, some people think that FHA loans are overly complicated or difficult to qualify for, and that's not true either. The process for applying for an FHA loan is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you work with a lender who understands the FHA requirements and they'll make it a breeze. Now let's get into the specifics of the requirements needed for an FHA loan. If your credit score is anywhere between 500 and 579, you'll still qualify, but you'll have to put 10% as your down payment. With that said, that's just the minimum. The higher the credit score you have, it'll be better for you because that'll mean you'll have a lower interest rate. When it comes to down payment, I know we've already talked about the benefit being you could put as little as three and a half percent down if you qualify but what does that number really mean so let's say on a three hundred thousand dollar home your down payment would be as little as ten thousand five hundred dollars that's quite a bit of savings especially when you compare it to a conventional loan that will make you bring sixty thousand dollars to the closing table in a twenty percent down payment now let's talk debt to income ratio also known as dti this is an important factor when it comes to qualifying for your FHA loan. This ratio compares your total monthly debts to your total monthly income. To qualify for an FHA loan, you need to have a debt to income ratio of 43% or lower. That means your debts cannot make up more than 43% of your income coming in. This helps ensure you can afford your mortgage payments. If you're still with me, drop in the comments questions you may have around FHA loans based on anything I just talked about. All right, I got two more things that you should know if you're really serious about using an FHA loan. First, if you're in the market for a condo, you want to make sure that the condo building is FHA approved. I've seen this happen before where a buyer falls in love with a condo, puts in the offer only to find out that the entire building was not FHA approved. They've had to pull out of the deal. Second thing is FHA allows 100% of the down payment to come from gift funds. So that means if mom and dad wants to help you out, they can gift you the entire down payment. So if you're excited about the possibility of buying your first home with an FHA loan, but feeling overwhelmed by the process, click the link in the description so we can guide you through every step. And if you found this guide on FHA loans helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any other tips.